Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to sync friends, how to label people that are in your friends list, that, but that you may not have messaged yet. And then I'll show you a good uh, use case for how they can be used. So the first thing we'll talk about, this is a new update in 3.6.09. If you don't see these features, you may not be updated. So just as a refresher, this is in another training video, but just as a refresher, you can hit this little icon here. It looks like a little puzzle piece or a little funky looking hammer or paintbrush or something. Hit manage extensions, make sure you're in developer mode, and then find the software you're looking for. In this case, Genius Messenger 3.6.9 is the version number. That's the most recent. If it hasn't automatically updated, which it should, you can just hit this update button and it'll update all of your extensions. Okay, so that's how you know you're on the new one. Now, what we've got is previously you had to be in Messenger and in order to, to find a label and change a label and that type of thing. And we've had some people say, hey, what if we haven't messaged them? What if they're new friends or something like that? So you what you may need to do before you see this, if you go into Messages and then Friends, okay, uh, we have a couple of buttons up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have Refetch All Images. What that does is you see how some of these people like Abhishek here and Robert here don't have images. It'll go grab those images. Now that can take a little bit of time, <clears throat> excuse me, and it will uh, sometimes take over your screen and be active. So I recommend you do that while you're eating dinner or overnight or something like that. If it gets in the way, um, in the next version, we'll have a stop button. But you can also refetch all friends. And this goes out and make sure that everyone in your contact list uh, has been fetched. Now you're only gonna see people in here that are labeled. It won't have them, but it will count them, okay? So, um, and I've probably got some duplicates because it's showing me over 5,000. Actually, I have, what that probably is is I have 5,000 friends almost, and then I have 29 people I've got in my messenger list that aren't friends because if you've messaged with them, this will count even if they're not an actual friend. So that's what that is. But you can refresh them. You may need to hit this button. I'm not going to do it now because it could take 10 or 15 minutes to do that. So do that when you have a little bit of time. Um, mine's already fetched, so I don't need to worry about it. But if, if what I'm going to show you in the next couple of seconds, if you don't see what I'm talking about, then come back here and refetch all friends. Okay. So where we're going to go is we're going to, we're on our, uh, Facebook page and go to where it says friends, go to your own profile, go to friends. And if you don't see the labels, just refresh the page. Command R, uh, will do it. Or you can hit this little circular arrow up here on the left. And you should see people here. Now, even if you haven't messaged someone, if they're in your friends list, you can change their labels, okay? Where this is probably going to be the most helpful for most people is in recently added, all of these will have them. If you want to go tag all your college buddies with some label, you know, there's college. If you want to tag your high school buddies, uh, you know, there's, there's, they're all there. But where most people are going to use this is recently added. And here are people that are recently added. Uh, it'll just show the last few. And you can now tag them with something. Maybe you have something that's a new lead or something like that. Um, I don't actually have a new lead category. I could do a cold lead or a warm lead or something. But maybe you've got a new lead and these are new people and you want to tag them. You can come in and hit tag. Whoops. I didn't mean to actually click the button. Um, you can come in and hit a tag that they have and then come in and tag this one. And just to make sure they all hit, again, just refresh the page after you've re-tagged them. Now, I'm not going to tag these people because um, I, I don't need to do anything with them yet. I'm going to do these manually because I've got other things I'm doing with them. Here's where this comes in. I'm going to give you a use case. Let's say you're using uh, one of our other softwares, like Genius Connector, and you're going out to a group and you are friending people using the software. But you're not sending an initial message. You're just sending out friend requests. And now you want to tag all of them as new leads and send one message out to them all at once or over a little bit of short time. You could come in here and uh, tag them, you know, label them, I mean. You can send your labels. Then you could come in and do your broadcast. So you would go into messages and then hit broadcast. And you could create a broadcast and you could say, all right, let's go in and hit labels and let's hit everyone with that new label. All right, I don't have one, but you would hit, you know, new, new lead. Maybe that's your thing. Then you can say, you know, let's do uh, five minutes apart, and then select your messages. And if you don't know how to do a broadcast, we have a video on that in this series. But just set it all up and then hit send broadcast. 
And maybe you've got another action for a new label that's called, um, you know, new lead sent first message. Well, you change the label and you, you pick your new one. You know, maybe it's and whatever, you know, maybe it's uh, like I just said, new leads who have received first message. So now once that broadcast goes and they've been sent it, it'll change their label. So that's just a use case, one of many, many, many use cases that you can have for this new feature. But you now have labeling ability, not just in Messenger, but on your friends page, on your profile. So I hope this saves you a lot of time, helps you out a lot. And if you need any other features, let us know.